Japan has just achieved the most precise moon landing ever, with a spacecraft that landed within 100 meters of its target zone near a crater. This is an amazing feat of engineering and science, and it has huge implications for the future of lunar exploration. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about this historic mission, why it is so important, and what it means for Japan and the world. We will cover the challenges, achievements, and potential benefits of the SLIM mission, which stands for Smart Lander for Investigating Moon. So, stay tuned and get ready to learn more about this incredible achievement. The first thing we need to understand is how SLIM landed on the moon. Landing on the moon is not easy. It requires a lot of planning, coordination, and precision. The moon has no atmosphere, so there is no air resistance or drag to slow down the spacecraft. The gravity is also much weaker than on Earth, so the spacecraft needs to use thrusters to control its speed and direction. The surface of the moon is also very uneven, with mountains, valleys, and craters of different sizes and shapes. So, finding a flat and safe landing site is a challenge, especially if you want to land near a specific feature or region. This is where SLIM's vision-based navigation technology comes in. Unlike most lunar landers, which rely on pre-programmed coordinates and maps, SLIM uses a camera and a computer to see and recognize the terrain below. It compares the images from the camera with the data from the Kaguya orbiter, which map the moon in high resolution. Then it calculates its position, velocity, and attitude, and adjusts its course accordingly. This way, SLIM can avoid obstacles and aim for a precise target zone. The target zone was near Shioli Crater, a small and young crater on the far side of the moon. They wanted to land there because it is a scientifically interesting and unexplored area. The lander launched from the Tanegashima Space Center in Japan on September 6, 2023. It took about four days to reach the moon, and then it entered a elliptical orbit at an altitude of 100 kilometers. On January 19, 2024, SLIM started its descent phase, which lasted about 15 minutes. Using its vision-based navigation technology, it recognized lunar craters and determined its location while firing its thrusters to slow down and steer. Then, it touched down on the lunar surface at 10.28 a.m. Japan Standard Time near Shioli Crater, within 100 meters of its target zone. This crater is a young and fresh crater that exposes the underlying material that was not affected by solar wind or cosmic rays. This was the most accurate moon landing ever, surpassing the previous record of 500 meters by China's Chang's four lander in 2019. SLIM also became the first lunar lander to use vision-based navigation technology. SLIM was a mini laboratory that carried several scientific payloads and instruments to study the lunar environment and geology. It had a descent camera, which captured images of the lunar surface during the landing phase. SLIM also had other sensors and experiments, such as a seismometer, a magnetometer, and a dust detector. However, SLIM did not discover anything on the moon because it lost power shortly after landing and could not operate its payloads and instruments. So its main achievement was to land on the moon with an unprecedented accuracy of 100 meters using its vision-based navigation technology. SLIM aimed to learn more about the origin and evolution of the moon, especially the far side, which is less explored and understood than the near side. SLIM was not just a scientific mission, but also a technological and diplomatic one. It demonstrated the feasibility and advantages of small-scale, low-cost, and high-precision lunar landers, which could open up new possibilities and opportunities for exploring and utilizing the moon. It also contributed to the international cooperation and collaboration in space exploration, which could foster peace and prosperity for humanity. SLIM was a remarkable spacecraft that weighed only 150 kilograms and cost only 15 billion yen, about 130 million US dollars. Compared to most lunar landers that weigh over 1,000 kilograms and cost over 1 billion US dollars, it was much more affordable and lightweight. This made it faster and easier to develop, launch, and adapt to various landing sites and goals. 
Its high precision also made it more capable and efficient, as it could land near specific features or regions of interest and avoid wasting time and fuel on searching or moving. Its vision-based navigation technology also made it more autonomous and reliable, as it could navigate and land without human intervention or external signals. This successful landing could inspire and enable more lunar missions in the future, especially by smaller and emerging space actors, such as private companies, universities, and developing countries. It could also serve as a model and a platform for developing and testing new technologies and concepts for lunar exploration, such as reusable landers, in situ resource utilization, and lunar base construction. It could also pave the way for more ambitious and diverse lunar missions, such as sample return, human landing, and polar exploration. This mission was also a collaborative and cooperative mission involving multiple partners and stakeholders from Japan and abroad. It was led by JAXA, the Japanese Space Agency, but it also involved several Japanese universities, research institutes, and companies, such as the University of Tokyo, the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. It also received support and assistance from other space agencies, such as NASA, ESA, and ISRO, which provided data, communication, and tracking services. This could enhance and strengthen the relations and trust among the space actors, and foster a spirit of mutual respect and understanding. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about SLIM and the Moon. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about SLIM and its mission. What do you think SLIM's impact will be on the future of lunar exploration? Thank you for watching and see you next time.